Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading for July 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is a general love reading so it's not going to resonate for all of you but you can check out one of your other signs or if you want you can book a personal reading and you can find that information in the description box. Also keep in mind that the roles can be interchangeable because it is a general reading. Okay, so let's see what's going on with Aquarius for the first half of July. And time is relevant, so don't take it too, too literally. Let's see. Aquarius, for your situation, we have the Ace of Cups, wow, okay, crossed by the Sun. Okay, so there's a lot of love in this connection. This is a very powerful, powerful connection. And I feel like this love is from the both, both of you, on both sides. It's crossed by the Sun, so it feels like, you know, this is, this is a relationship where, or a connection where there could be a lot of happiness, but somebody is having a hard time finding that happiness in this connection or moving in the direction of, of their happiness. Let's see the recent past. We have the hanged man for the near future. We have the knight of pentacles. All right, so there feels like this, there has been a lot of waiting or a lot of just passiveness in this connection. Somebody just really not moving forward, even though there's a lot of love here, plain and simple. I do see some movement though coming up in the near future, although it might still be a little bit slow, but it's definitely moving a little bit quicker than the hanged man. Let's see for you, we have the 10 of pentacles. For them, the knight of swords. Also, let me just um, point out that some of you might be dealing with a Leo. It definitely does not have to be, but it just could be um, a specific, a more specific message here for those of you dealing with a Leo. More about you. We have the Nine of Wands for them, the Hermit, and the potential outcome here is the Knight of Wands. Okay, so more action. So both of our future energies here, they're both Knights. One of them is a little bit slow, and then possibly in the outcome, it, get, it could get a little bit quicker. Um, you're in this space where you, with this Ten of Pentacles, you're either feeling really good about your life at the moment, in your environment, but I feel like you, you want a commitment with this person. You, would, you want the whole nine yards, you know, you just want the whole package but you're feeling like you're ready to give up. It's feeling very challenging for you and I feel like you feel like you have been struggling because of this connection for a while. Um, for them, it's interesting that they have the Knight of Swords and the Hermit because to me these are like two contradicting energies. So I feel like on the one hand, this is somebody who would really want to take action, move in your direction, but it also comes with a little bit of restlessness, like it's not 100% mature yet. It's like they would want to do that on impulse, but there's another side to them that is like, no, 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 you know what? Like, no, let's think about this a little bit more. Let's go within, there's something we need to figure out within our own selves. That's what that person is saying to their own self about, about themselves, not about you. Um, definitely doing some soul searching here. Definitely just a lot of deep thinking. So let's clarify. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups with the Sun. We have the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. So again, a lot of love here. There's no question about that. 
love is not the issue here. It's finding finding a way to this love, finding a way of not avoiding happiness. Um, and I do get that it's your person who is mostly in this energy because they're the ones with the hermit and um, you have the, the Ten of Pentacles here. Although, of course, the roles can be reversed. All right. Um, for some of you, and I feel like this is just for a small group of you, it could even be that you are involved in another commitment and finding that a bit challenging here. But I'm getting that for the most part, that's not the issue. The issue is something else, somebody really moving towards happiness here. And I feel like it's from, from the other person's side. Um, there's a lot of overthinking, a lot of feeling trapped in a particular situation and almost feeling like, you know what, like no matter what I do, no matter what kind of effort I put into this, like I'm just doomed. Um, like there's no way that I can be happy. And for all of them, this is going to be for different reasons, all right? There, there's different situations. But the love is unquestionable. For some of them, this might even be related to work. And for others, it's just a fear of actually putting effort into something and feeling like, you know what, well, even if I put effort into this, I'm probably still not going to accomplish it. Like, I'm just doomed to not being happy. So even though this love is there, like, I'm just, you know, going to sulk and stay in, in my little shell. But I do see things taking a shift. Let's see the Ten of Pentacles for your energy. The Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Yeah, see, I feel like it's you who has been waiting. You have been waiting for this. Um, I feel like you have put in effort for this, possibly in the past, possibly even recently. Um, and I feel like you also have been working a lot on your, your own healing, really trying to come to this space of either acceptance or just really healing your own, your own wounds or just any kind of pain that came with this connection. I feel like... It, this, this feels a little similar to Libra's reading. Um, but then again, you know, all <laughs> the same elements tend to have a similar theme. Because I feel like you, you're still kind of, kind of waiting in a sense, just a little bit. Just a little bit, but you're healing. So it's not, it's not a whole lot of waiting anymore. I feel like that's mostly in the past. All right, with the hanged man being in the past. Now it's more of, you know what? Yeah, I tried. I waited. I didn't get this result. I didn't get this, the full package. And so I am just going to heal this. But again, I feel like it is a little challenging for you. I feel like, you know, you're just ready to give up. So let's see the nine of wands. The Knight of Swords and the Tower. So this has definitely been very painful for you. It's like you came out of this very wounded. Um, and I feel like you're at this point where, yeah, you're feeling like this Knight of Swords, this person coming in, and actually taking some action towards you, you feel like that's just, it's been destroyed. That hope in you has been destroyed or it's almost destroyed. Like you're just ready to completely give up on any hope whatsoever of this person being able to come in. Again, it feels very similar to Libra. <laughs> and that's funny because um, I think I just saw Justice somewhere here, which is Libra. So maybe some of you are dealing with the Libra. All right, let's see what's going on with them. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords. All right, the Lovers, the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. All 
Okay, so for some of you, it could be that this person has to choose between two different situations here, between two different partners, um, you and another person. Okay, that's not going to be for all of you, but it definitely feels like it is for some of you um, and that there might be another commitment here on their end. This, if this is the case for you, if that is your situation, this person is definitely feeling very, very burdened by it, by the whole situation, by the fact of being in this position. And this is why they have this drive of really wanting to do something about it. They're feeling a lot of restlessness. I don't see them being as passive. Yeah, they might be doing a lot of soul searching, but, but they're not being passive. They're just not taking that action towards you, all right? That, this Knight of Swords is representing their mental space. There's a lot of movement happening when it comes to really thinking about what it is that they want to do. If they're not in another commitment here, Either way, there is a lot of love here. Again, I'm just going to say that again, all right? We have the lovers here. And this is definitely somebody who does want a commitment with you, right? Just like you want it. But it could be that they're feeling some kind of a responsibility that comes with that or that there's another responsibility in their life, which is keeping them from being able to take that action. And again, I mean, it is a choice. It's always a choice. So it doesn't, I'm not saying that, the, that them having some other responsibility justifies them. I'm not saying that at all. Let's see the hermit. Because it's always a choice whether we move towards our happiness or not. And this person, I feel, is very much aware of what it is that would make them happy. And just as I say that, the sun comes out again. All right, so clarifying the hermit, we have the sun and we have the knight of pentacles again. So here it is, this person doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of thinking deep. This is really deep thinking, okay? This isn't just um, on the surface. This is deep thinking concerning how can they move towards that happiness. This is what I've been talking about. Again, it feels like the movement is it is slow, okay? I'm not gonna, I can't lie about that. It is slow, all right? The Knight of Pentacles showing up twice here. Um, but there is, something is definitely happening. I just feel like it's more within them at the moment. But I do feel like it's leading up to it um, also manifesting in the physical, all right? With the Knight of Pentacles possibly just coming up with a plan, realizing that they do want to move towards that, towards the sun, which is towards this love, which is where their emotions are, where their heart is. So it definitely feels like, like the two of you are not fully together, if at all. All right, let's see the Knight of Pentacles. And if you are together, it feels like, again, like this, it's like this person is just avoiding something that would make everything just so much easier. Avoiding something that would make, that would bring happiness to this connection. All right, so for the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Death card as well as the Page of Pentacles. So this is a, some kind of a transformation, possibly for some of them, an ending that needs to take place. And this is taking those first steps, all right? Again, it does seem that it's not happening overnight. It's not something that's just um, going to happen from one day to the next. It's a process, all right? But there is a plan, and the first practical steps are being taken here in the near future, moving towards a transformation or moving towards some kind of an ending. I definitely don't feel like this ending is the ending of this connection um, because this, whatever movement it is, it's moving them towards happiness, which actually is this connection. All right, Ace of Cups here. Let's see. So that ending could be of anything, whatever it is that is preventing them from moving forward. Possibly whatever this sense of responsibility is, whatever it is that is burdening them. Let's see the Knight of Wands for the potential outcome here. All 
All right, the Five of Cups, Justice, and the King of Swords. Okay, so the Knight of Wands can oftentimes not be very um, consistent. It, it's not always very stable when it comes to its movement, but this is why I wanted to wait to clarify before saying anything. So it can also be though moving towards something very passionately or physically moving locations possibly. All right, so I do see some kind of a movement that is going to be um, a little bit quicker than the, than the Knight of Pentacles. I'm actually seeing this Knight of Wands as actually representing the action and the physical movement of the Knight of Swords, which as I said, this Knight of Swords is in their minds mostly as they're doing this deep thinking. So this Knight of Wands to me is representing that actually taking form in the physical. And I say that also because we have Justice and we have the King of Swords here. So this is making a decision and being very determined with that decision. However, whatever that decision is, it also comes with a little bit of sadness. It comes with some grief. So I feel like, again, even though they're moving towards happiness overall, it feels like there's something else that needs to be lost or compromised in order to move in that direction, in order to, move, to make that decision. So that's why I feel like this happiness is just something that maybe has been so difficult moving in that direction because something else needs to be lost, which means that, yeah, if I move towards happiness, first I have to go through this grief and then the happiness is going to come later. So, and because humans, we have this tendency to go for more instant gratification, it's difficult to make a decision like that. Um, but I do, I do see things progressing in that direction, potentially, all right? And definitely some first steps being taken pretty soon here. Okay, Aquarius. If this resonated, let's get the final oracle message for you. All right, and we have the full moon in Pisces. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. And I feel like that's what this person is doing. They're trying to think of the practical parts of this, right, with this knight and page of pentacles. Um, the practical part of this plan or of this movement that they want to move towards. And at the same time, also doing a lot of deep thinking. A lot of deep thinking, which is helping them to tap more into their, just the more spiritual side, which is guiding them. It's like both are needed here. And this is, I feel, a balance of both of those elements. And this could even apply to you, so take it as it resonates. All right, Aquarius, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.